Guys, today I'm going to be showing you my personal favorite grinding method. Now, this one isn't one of those ones that it's super boring and super repetitive. It's actually an A10 one, as you can see in the title. So, what you're going to want to do first is, of course, grab an A10. You don't need you don't need meds, you don't need any of that. Just come over to the hangar and get an A10. Now, I do have the money for an A10. Some of you might not. So, I will probably make another grinding video to get to the A10. Or you could just follow my Altaro one. So, first, you're gonna, if you don't have one, you're going to want to buy one. It costs $50,000. And it's very expensive. Yes, it's the most expensive vehicle in the game. And then you're going to request it. So, now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to the left side of the cockpit. There should be a fly vehicle button. You get in it. And then there's this whole setup thing. There's a lot of people have done tutorials on it. I'll just go through a quick one through, run through. Hit H2 close to canopy. Not required. Hit oxygen. Battery. AC power R. AC power L. In inverter. APU generator. Fuel test. CICU. If these screens turn white and that says standby, you're doing good. Turn on APU. Engine R. Engine L. Fuel RM. Fuel LM. And then fuel RW, fuel LW. You don't need to turn on lamp test, but you can as well. You can do that, but I have no idea what it does. You can also turn off oxygen if you want. It just changes the style, but it doesn't do anything else. I think it cha yeah, it changes the light as well for some reason. I don't know what it does. And now you just wait for it to start up. After APU gets halfway, you can turn on one of your engines, but only turn them on one at a time. The buttons to turn on your engines are L for right engine and K for left engine. And now that you press one of them, you are waiting for the right RPM or the left RPM, depending on which engine you turned on, to go to the second notch to the right of the middle big notch. So right there. Or right there on that one. Right now, sir, we can turn on the second engine. Alright, now that's done, we get to the hardest part, taking off. So you can do this of uh, one of two ways. One, you can take the go all the way to the end of the runway and try to stop yourself before trying to take off that way. But there is an easier way, but it is a bit more risky if you're an inexperienced pilot. You just hold the throttle for three seconds or two Mississippi if you want to count it that way. I think that is how long it was to get to 100, uh, about there. And then whenever you get onto the runway, just hit full throttle. And then once, and then just go off the end of the runway. You don't need to pull up. It'll, as long as you're at 200 by the end of the runway, you will be fine. So now you're in the air. Uh, if you're on one graphics, I do suggest that you immediately turn to the right, just so that you can find your way back to the island. And if you don't, and there we go. Now you, now you see it. And you're just gonna follow it up the coast, because we are going to naval. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go around the fortress, or if you want to get to the carrier side, side of naval, then just do that. But this is for my one graphics people. Just make sure you fly below the fortress walls because there's anti-air in there. And be careful for these hills. Now you do outrun anti-air, but that does not mean test it. You will be actively testing it on this if anything. So there's this so that area this area where my cursor is right now is going to be where you're going to be hitting. Right right there is I think about forty or thirty enemies in one line. And they're next to vehicles as well, so they explode and die even quicker. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull up upside down on either side. As long as it's not north to south. East to west are the good sides. And north and south are the bad sides. 
And then all you're going to want to do is try to line yourself up. After you think you've lined yourself up, try to go for a pass with the gun. To shoot the gun, it is right click. So just aim around here and then expect some lag. And do pull up kind of quickly because that is a lot of guys that you just hit. And look, I, I'll i post, I'll show my money before this. And then you'll see the difference. After you've gotten away from the snow particles, you want to turn back. Just hold S. Do not tr press A or W because you are automatically going to be lined up with them. Whenever you're upside down, you kind of want to gain altitude and then come down. You might get hit a little bit, but that's not too bad. There we go. I just gained $1,200 from that. You want to wait a little bit again and then go. You just press S and W and then just keep repeating this until you either run out of ammo or you're shot down. I'm hoping that you guys run out of ammo before you get shot down because that just makes this no fun. Alright, wait till you get out of the snow particles with them to reset and then you just turn. And you just you just do this till you run out of ammo or you die. So I'll just do a quick little speed run of this and then I will come back whenever I need to bring it back to base for the landing. Oh no, I've been shot down. Okay, that's not good. Although, whatever amount I did start at, I am now at $118,000, which is a lot more than I started with. I think I started with like $106,000. Even after I have to rebuy the A10, that is still a lot better than every other grinding method that I personally know of. Remove $3,100. That is nothing compared to what we just made. Easy, at least nine thousand, maybe ten thousand dollars right there. I'm not sure where I started from. All right. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learn and use this t this tactic. Um, yeah. So like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what you want to see in my next video. Bye.